Welcome to the video demonstration for the Green Market series of global quarterly reports for nitrogen, which you see here, phosphates and potash. The next five minutes explains the full content of our unlocked Excel data file, which is updated quarterly through your annual subscription. Subscription deliverables also include a PDF executive summary of no more than a very digestible 25 pages, uh, and that covers the supply and demand balance, production cost and analysis, current and forecasted pricing, near, medium and long-term market outlooks and forecasts, and projects update. These reports are designed to be the only resource for macronutrients that you will need to buy. They're also very, very kind to budgets. The annual subscription fee for these global quarterlies are $3,750 each for phosphates and potash, and $4,750 for nitrogen. So, on with the show, and let's move immediately to the Excel file and the contents table. Uh, the top line numbers this one is for supply uh, and demand this is our base case and then our top level so on a global level broken out by product as well okay some uh, capacity numbers again this is top line numbers um, by country uh, and again broken out by product as well ammonia urea UAN and also uh, AN is here as well. Um, history back to 2011 uh, with a forecast up to 2026. This is all taken from uh, the data that's further up in the uh, uh, in the chart here. Um, I'll flick through it quickly, but uh, as you can see, each producing country is covered. Okay, looking down a little further, um, this is now by producer. Uh, and uh, uh, each plant for each producer as well. This is uh, the Americas uh, and Europe, and I'll show you through the others in just a moment. Um, this is capacity with, a, with an outlook as well, depending on any pro current projects that are, uh, uh, that are in the pipeline as well. Uh, again, by product. And then there's some scenarios driven from what we've just seen in the previous slide as well. Um, the uh, the good thing about this is that you can make your own um, scenarios as well, depending on whether you are uh, whether you think it's a base case or a bear or a bull market. Um, I'll give you an example. If you were to this is, this is not live, uh, but if it was live, you click on bear, uh, and for example here. Uh, for the, for this plant, it would be included in a bear market, uh, but in a bull market, it wouldn't be included. So this is each project. Okay, moving on. Exactly the same here for uh, for Africa. Uh, each producer. Asia, Australia, okay, you see great coverage of China as well. China is inherently difficult to get data from. And uh, being a, as Green Markets as a Bloomberg company uh, with access to some of the largest data reserves in the world, we have outstanding coverage of uh, uh, of China. Uh, in fact, in this whole in in this whole uh, spreadsheet, there's 450 producers covered, uh, and I think about 80 of those are in China, as uh, as you can see here. Okay, from from that, uh, there is some um, uh, from the from the supply side to the demand side. Uh, we look at implied demand, uh, and um, uh, the drivers of demand are covered here. Okay, some trade. Uh, trade numbers. Uh, 
Um, the cost curve is also covered uh, within this study as well. This, does, this study is designed to be a, like a one-stop shop, uh, an all-encompassing uh, for, for, for kind of product for, for all your information needs uh, and outlooks and forecasts for each macronutrient. Um, so there is a, the cost curve uh, coverage here. With some uh, with some explanation of uh, uh, of each cost. Uh, then a few additional tabs just to close. Uh, one here for industrial use, um, uh, non-fertilizer uses of uh, uh, of nitrogen. Uh, some inventory uh, inventory numbers as well. And then finally, some state data uh, to close. Um, like I said, it was just a quick overview. I hope for, hopefully it's given you a bit of an insight as to what's within the study. Um, what's not covered here uh, is the uh, is the executive summary as well. Um, I'll let you see that at uh, some other point. But hopefully this has been uh, of some use to you. Thanks very much.